This video will show you how to set up a frequency for the SPS 855 for a 450 radio. In a previous video, I showed how to do this with a 900 radio, but the 450 radio is a little different because you can actually add a receive only frequency directly to the receiver. So first I'll go into the home icon, hardware setup, and then GNSS setup. I've got for my connection type, Trimble TCP IP. My correction data type is radio. Uh, and then first I'm gonna go down here to um, open my GNSS web UI. So I tap open, select my moving base. I've got my credentials in there. And this is the web UI for the SPS 855. So if I look at my frequencies that I've got for this receiver, you can see I've got a bunch of these, but the base station that I have here is using 469.5 megahertz for the frequency. So I don't have that on this list. So what I'm gonna have to do is tap over here on frequency management, and I can add a receive only channel. So I put in 469.5, tap okay. And so any receive only channel can be added. It's just for receiving. You can't transmit with these frequencies, so keep that in mind. And now if I go back to my radio tab, I have another option for this new frequency that I just added for 469.5 down at the bottom. Maybe it's off the screen. So I'll hit OK here. It's gonna save that. I'll tap accept to exit out of this web UI. And then I'll go back to my uh, configuration of the radio settings. So like I said earlier, I've got my Trimble TCP IP as the connection type, radio for the, the data type. I've got configure radio at startup. This is just gonna allow me to uh, configure my SPS 855 for whatever frequency I wanna use. Once I successfully connect the first time, I can disable this if I'm gonna always be using the same frequency. But for the first time, we'll have that enabled. Down here, I've got my IP address and port that are set up by default, so I can leave those as they are. And then I'll just want to make sure that my moving base connection is enabled. Right here. So I'll tap accept, go to my connections, uh, go to connect my GNSS, and I'm prompted with my frequencies. So. Previously, if I had looked at this list, I would have had all of these frequencies up to 15, but I wouldn't have had this 16th frequency, which I just showed how to add using the web UI. So I'll select that frequency, tap accept, and the GNSS is fully connected now. 